I'm Erin with the City of Durham's Department of Water Management. Everyone knows that water is essential to life. You need it, I need it, all living things need it. And when we turn on the faucet, we all expect clean, safe water to come out. But do you know where your water comes from and the journey it takes before it comes out of your tap? Most people don't. So we're going to show you how water management makes that happen. Welcome to the Way G. Brown Water Treatment Plant. Let's go! Before we begin our tour, let's have a quick history lesson. In 1887, the Durham Water Company was a privately owned pumping station in operation on the banks of the Eno River. But in 1914, a massive fire destroyed much of Durham's business district and highlighted the failings of the current water provider. Citizens then voted for a city-operated waterworks system. And in 1915, construction of the Williams Water Treatment Plant began. This plant sits on the corner of Hillsborough and Hillendale Roads and is a fixture in the landscape of the Watts Hillendale neighborhood. The Williams plant has undergone a couple of expansions and can currently treat 22 million gallons a day. Its unique architecture has been maintained and restored. It's even won an award for historic preservation. In the 1960s, the city added an additional water treatment plant, the Wade G. Brown plant, which is located off of Infinity Road in the northern part of Durham. The Brown Water Treatment Plant may sound like an apt name for a place where raw water is transformed into drinking water, but it is actually named after the man who served as the Water Resources Director at that time. Let's start with the raw water coming into the plant. There are two primary water sources for the City of Durham, Lake Mickey and Little River Reservoirs, which are both located in the northernmost part of the county and they hold three and a half and four and a half billion gallons, respectively. Water from our two lakes is pumped into the raw water terminal reservoir at the Brown plant. The terminal reservoir holds approximately 90 million gallons. How much is 90 million gallons? Here's one way to visualize that. The water tank at Angier and Austin holds three million gallons. This means that the terminal reservoir at the Brown Water Treatment Plant would hold the same amount of water as 30 tanks the size of the Angier Austin tank. The storage in this reservoir provides a constant supply of raw water just in case there's any interruption in raw water delivery to the plant. The water from our source water lakes looks something like this. And now the first step of the treatment process. It's time to stir things up, literally. From the terminal reservoir, the water moves through the static mixers to begin the process of coagulation. The water is quickly mixed to suspend the particles of silt, sand, and clay in the water column. This is where we add the first round of treatment chemicals. Positively charged ferric sulfate acts as a coagulant by attracting negatively charged particles like sediment and organic matter in the raw water. In the flocculation chambers, the mixing slows and these particles continue to cluster together and form flock, or clumps of sediment and particulate matter. Water at this stage of the treatment process looks like this. Here the flock settles at the bottom of a basin, where a device similar to a rake scoops out the solid material. Before moving on to filtration, chlorine is added to begin to knock out any pathogens or disease-causing microscopic organisms. Clear, sediment-free water flows from the top of the clarifier into the next stage of the treatment process, filtration. The water passes through filters consisting of one layer of sand and another layer of anthracite coal. The filters remove the tiny remaining particulates that were not captured in the sediment basins. At this point, the water looks practically perfect, but we need to finish our elimination of any living bacteria, contaminants, or viruses. Basically, any microscopic things that you can't see with the naked eye. Chloramines, our disinfection chemical of choice, is chlorine with added ammonia. 
This edition ensures long-lasting quality as it moves through the 1,400 miles of pipes used to deliver our water to homes and businesses. Zinc orthophosphate, which is a corrosion inhibitor, is also added to help protect the inner lining of our pipes and the quality of our water. Finally, we add a little bit of fluoride. This helps our teeth stay strong and healthy, but this doesn't mean you get to skip brushing and flossing. We make sure these are monitored very closely and we follow EPA standards to make sure they're at safe and recommended levels in our water. Now our water is ready to drink. It moves from filtration to massive storage tanks called clear wells, each holding five million gallons. From here, it's carried to storage tanks that are spread around town. The elevated storage tanks help maintain pressure in the system, making sure each household has adequate pressure. We have four elevated storage tanks and two ground tanks out in our system. The largest elevated tank can hold three million gallons of water. Water levels in the elevated tanks are monitored remotely and are usually refilled overnight. Water at this final stage of the treatment process looks like this. It's worth noting that Durham's water system has more than 1,400 miles of water lines. 1,400 miles laid flat would stretch from Durham to Denver, Colorado. The Brown plant has the capacity to treat about 42 million gallons a day. It's responsible for about 70% of the drinking water that's distributed throughout Durham to our over 301,000 customers. It's important to note that our staff test the water at every stage of the process to ensure the highest quality. Our certified operators and staff work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to ensure our community continues to have reliable and safe drinking water. Thanks for joining us on this tour. Wayne Drop, thank you for reminding me. There are ways that you can help keep this invaluable resource in good supply. Look for EPA WaterSense logo and switch to WaterSense labeled fixtures and appliances. Keep your showers to five minutes or less. I know it sounds hard, but I bet you can do it. Turn the water off while you're brushing your teeth. Believe it or not, it saves gallons of water each time you brush. Notice the toilet running or a persistent dripping at your faucet? Millions of gallons are wasted by leaks that could easily be repaired. So do all that you can to find and fix those leaks. Water is a precious natural resource. So please do your part and use water efficiently whenever and wherever you can. We hope you've enjoyed our tour of the Wade G. Brown Water Treatment Plant. Now have a glass of Durham's award-winning water and value every drop. Cheers. <laughs>